Did you know that you don't have to be breastfeeding to have high prolactin? And you'd be shocked how many of you are trying to conceive and have slightly elevated prolactin levels that completely mess with ovulation. And if your cycle is long, irregular, if you're not ovulating every single month, or if your period comes without a proper luteal phase, prolactin could be the hidden factor. But but it's at the end of the day just a trigger and it's often triggered by chronic stress, low dopamine, poor sleep and even certain medications. Yes, it's the things you are ignoring. You're popping every single supplement. You might be even eating better. But if you're ignoring your sleep and your stress levels, that can all up that prolactin levels. And the worst part is that most doctors don't even check for it unless your periods probably have completely stopped altogether. But prolactin can be just high enough to interfere with your hormone signaling. So if you're ovulating sometimes or your luteal phase keeps shifting, for heaven's sake, address your stress levels and your sleep. Because this tiny hormone can throw your reproductive system completely out of balance. But if you've really tried to fix it and your stress levels are still through the roof and you still can't sleep, you wake up every single night and your thoughts are spiralizing, then you might need a clear and proven plan such on my fertility circle and get the roadmap even to better sleep. Because in there is not just a 12-week fertility program, but also a four-week restore and reconnect your nervous system program where you can learn how to feel calm in the storm.